The Rethink Investment Forum is taking place today in Mariupol. Speakers at the conference include President Volodymyr Zelensky, Prime Minister Alexei Honcharuk, the Ministers of Trade and Development, Finance, Infrastructure, Community Development and Energy and Environmental Protection, as well as Ukrainian and international business leaders. Our correspondent Tom Bell is there now. Hi Tom, can you tell us a bit more about what's happening in Mariupol today? Oh, thank you very much, Tamara. Yes, well, actually, the president uh, just left about uh, 10 minutes ago. He finished his speech, and we'll listen to him in a short while. But this is a uh, huge uh, investment conference that's taking place here in Mariupol, which is usually quite a uh, quiet city. I'm glad to greet all the participants of the forum in the hospitable Ukrainian city of Mariupol. Welcome to Ukraine. Welcome to Mariupol. We managed to do an almost impossible thing. This is the first and the largest forum of this kind in eastern Ukraine. So there we go. That was uh, Volodymyr Zelensky uh, just speaking a, a short time ago. Uh, I was going to say, actually, there are uh, five different panels which are planned uh, for today that really uh, tackle the most important issues in the region. We're talking about investment in small to medium-sized enterprises, in uh, different IT companies, and really how uh, international investors can learn more about this uh, particular region. Because you know, in the past, uh, these parts of uh, the Donbass in Luhansk and Donetsk regions have really felt left out from Ukraine's path towards uh, more European integration. And this one really is a platform to uh, allow this to happen. I can show you behind me here on the screen, uh, we can see different companies which are advertising their services, different government authorities as well, uh, which are working uh, to make uh, this particular region uh, more known. Also over there we can see the Ukraine Now, uh, which is uh, an official brand, uh, different uh, leaflets on business culture, on customs, and uh, that sort of thing. And also we've uh, spoken to um, one of the representatives from the German Marshall Fund, who uh, works here in Ukraine. They actually work with these uh, small businesses. Uh, let's have a listen to what he has to say uh, about uh, how they work and what their long-term strategy is. When we talk about the Donbass, uh, we always talk about war or conflict. Now we want to change that narrative towards also economy and success stories. And really we want to expose the people in the East to American and European counterparts. So what can we learn from each other? I'm sure Ukrainian entrepreneurs can learn from Europe and America, but vice versa. Here in Ukraine you actually see there's a lot of potential of young people with fresh ideas. Um, so they have the ideas, but not always the tool to implement their business ideas. And this is where we really try to, to fill the gap. Now, we work with international partners, donors, um, that's one. On the other hand, we also have strong networks on the ground, so we tend to be this kind of filter between the big international level and just the people on the ground. There we go. That was uh, Bruno Lette speaking uh, to us earlier. And actually, uh, many of the people that I've spoken to here, we've interviewed on uh, UAE TV before. No doubt we'll have them uh, on again. But of course, when you talk about uh, investment in, in a particular region, uh, one of the main things you know, that you need is infrastructure. And today, uh, the president, along with the uh, prime minister, opened a part of a recently renovated route uh, between the cities of Mariupol and uh, Zaporizhia. Now, actually, this, uh, to give you a bit of background to this, um, back in 2016, uh, this road began a renovation. They did about 70 kilometers of it in uh, three years. But really, all of a sudden, they've uh, stepped up the pace and uh, renovated another 130 kilometers. So really, this is a key route uh, towards Mariupol. Of course, there's a lot of industry here, and you need good roads. And I remember a long time ago when I was coming to Mariupol, uh, if you were going that route, you really needed your seatbelt on because uh, it was a really a rough road. But now, it's all fully resurfaced. A lot of safety work has been done. And that's going to be key to bringing in more business into uh, the region. Let's hear from uh, Zelensky now. We are grateful to everyone, all the workers who managed to build the road on schedule. Around 130 kilometers of the road were constructed in three months. The whole road of 200 kilometers. 70 kilometers of the road were built over three years. And now 130 kilometers of a very important highway from Mariupol to Zaporizhia were built in three months. 
So there we go. That was uh, Volodymyr Zelensky uh, speaking really about the success and how these projects can be done if everyone works together very effectively. Before we uh, wrap up, I want to show you uh, just around here uh, the Mariupol creating the future today. And really, this is the motto of the conference. Back to you tomorrow. Thank you, Tom. That, uh, thank you for that really good update. Um, that was our correspondent, Tom Bell, reporting live from the Investment Forum in Mariupol, and we'll be keeping a close eye on that.